Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a final impressions video. Outrageous. That's right, friends. Once again, I am back. Back with another video, this time wrapping up my first impression series on the House of Hades de Venustis. And it has been a worthwhile experience, in my opinion. I will talk about some of the perfumes uh, and more generally about the house and my overall impressions of Sim. So, um, I've had this sample set for quite a while and as you can see before you, a couple of the samples are not like the others. That is because since I bought it, they've released two new perfumes. One of which was called Cafe Tabac and the other was Amnesia Rose. I was very intrigued to try Amnesia Rose because it is the perfume that beat Eugene's Desandre in a, um, in a fragrance awards category for release of the year 2023 so i was intrigued to smell it and i think it was andrige who very kindly sent me the two samples to make up the whole so i had everyone from the house um and i tried amnesia rose and it is very nice it is absolutely very, very nice. Um, unfortunately to me, it smells a little bit much like portrait of a lady. Um, and while I am interested in it, maybe once I've used up my portrait of a lady, um, it would it would maybe be a little bit redundant for me to have them both and i'm trying i'm actually selling off quite a few perfumes at the minute so anything i do buy would have to be pretty pretty great you know I'm not just buying things at the minute so i was impressed with that i'm open to buying in the future but unless i find it an absolutely brilliant deal for it I'm not going to. Um, I was impressed with the overall quality of the house, actually. I thought that they used great materials. They had great ideas. Uh, they don't smell like just everything else out there. Uh, bearing in mind that this is a shop. Edis de Venustis is a shop. Like, sort of like Javois, and I don't know if you've ever smelled any of the fragrances from Javois. While some of them are popular, the ones I smelled were not great. Psychedelic is, is, is really just very, very bland, and people go crazy for it. I think, it's, I think it's quite poor, actually. I used to think it was nice, but I've smelled much, much nicer patchouli's. Um... Yeah, I, I think it is the Venustus as a house blows Javoir away, you know, or Javoy. Some people call Javoy. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. So, as I said, I was quite impressed. Another one I wanted to talk about was actually Cafe Tabac. Cafe Tabac. It, it was great on first sniff. Um, the first impressions I did, I was quite impressed with it. Unfortunately, it did that thing that many modern fragrances do, and it dried down to a horrible little amber wood, which came and stuck around very unpleasantly for a long time, and I was very upset by it. This is the problem with first impressions. But it also, it also shines a light on what perfumes try to do they try to capture you with the first smell and make you buy on impulse and 
I think when a perfume dries down to, a, to an amber wood, just an amber wood, I think it's lazy, actually. Um, it's cheap and lazy. And it, the cafe tobacco is... Cafe Tabac is extraordinary in the line because it's the only one that does that. I hope they don't do that again. Um, the opening was quite nice. It was in the vein of something like Vinay Havan. Um, even if it even if it wasn't Vinay Havan, you know. So it didn't have the. It didn't. It didn't. Uh, It didn't. It didn't have the. It didn't have the base. It didn't have the quality. It didn't have the. I mean, to be fair, it's like Vinny Havan's like what twice the price, four times the price per mil. So, Cafe de Bac was a bit of a letdown in that regard. You know. Um, Pelagonium, Pelagonium's lovely. It smells like Nexin by Tower. It's got that creamy geranium, floral, fresh, spring, summer kind of thing going on. Lovely perfume. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, it showed the breadth of the house. Shows how showed how some houses have like quote unquote a DNA. Um, This house has a loose DNA. A lot of the perfumes are made by Bertrand du Chiffaut, and it's some of his better work. It's definitely some of his better work, certainly in the last 10 years. Um, I don't know if... I don't know if he did um, Pelagonium, because... Don't have the inch information to hand. I can quickly check. Um, who did Pelagonium? Natalie Feisthauer. It's really nice. Um, as I say, it smells a bit like Nexon by Tower. And that is a very hard fragrance to get a hold of. There's like this bergamot, geranium, vetiver iris there's a lot of crossover you know um very well made good materials that's kind of the story of the house well made good materials good ideas um quality perfumes at a, at a decent price you know at a decent price the, the work out at about 200 dollars, 180 pounds around that kind of thing you know they have stockists in the uk they obviously sell from their own boutique in America. Um, they do sample sets, which is brilliant. You should always sample. Always get a sample set. They're fun. Sample sets are fun. You know, they are. You can have a lot of you can have a lot of fun exploring a house with a sample set, as my channel will prove. You know. Uh, move moving on to iris nazarena i actually own a bottle of iris nazarena already uh, one of the reasons i wanted to try the house um it sits precariously it sits precariously over there on top of other bottles because it's big and round and got like a got a solid foundation so i know i can plonk it somewhere it's not just going to like throw itself about in the cupboard when i close it this is quality this is an absolutely fabulous perfume. I love it. I really love it. Um, slightly medicinal iris, juniper, fresh, uh, leather. I get some kind of fruitiness. I swear it's raspberry, but I mean, I've, I could be wrong. Um, but I get this kind of raspberry, berry, fresh kind of thing. And it's beautiful. I really love it. Musky, um, like clean white musk bit of incense awesome perfume definitely try this especially if you like irises you'd really love it um and last perfume i want to talk about is this one Ensemble's japanais i am almost certain i'm going to buy a bottle of this 
I haven't exhausted the sample because I did say I would pass the samples on to somebody else. Um, and I think that I want to leave them some so they can try it at least. But I've tried this numerous occasions and I keep coming back. It's a fucking fantastic incense. I've put it on again today. It's beautifully made. It is, again, a douche four. Um, it's got that ambery kind of incense thing going on, a bit like a Filippo Sorcinelli. Um, it's got resins. It's got, like, pink pepper and a rose in there to, like, kind of keep it a little bit not dry, you know, sort of keep it alive rather than it being caustic or, you know, like something like lye, you know, that like, that'll like erode. Some, some incense, some incenses feel like corrosive sometimes, but this one's, it's beautifully balanced. I'm sure it's a Bertrand. Yeah, it is a Bertrand Dusha 4 released in 2021. Um, so I'm currently looking for a bottle of that. That's always a good sign. You know, there's been plenty of times I've tried all the perfumes from my house and never thought. And this one, I'm, I'd be quite interested in owning more than one, you know. So, happy to report it's been a great experience trying the 80s Divinustus uh, samples. Uh, I would recommend that you got samples as well. Don't just blind buy bottles. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll be doing another sample set soon. And I hope to see you then. Thanks very much. Bye.